I'm Ricardo, and I will talk about uh, the uh, monsoon predictability. So, is there any relationship between the rain and your car? This is the problem. The aim of my project is to understand if the presence of uh, small particles in the atmosphere can affect the um, uh, rainfalls. There are two magic words, India and aerosols. Uh, aerosols is the uh, word that we use for defining the small particles into the atmosphere, which can be pollution, sea salt, uh, dust, or something like that. India, why India is important, is because uh, it is a very nice uh, test case uh, due to the uh, recent industrialization and the population growth, uh, it is a highly uh, polluted area. And the second reason is because um, due to the monsoon uh, seasonality, uh, there are really clear and defined uh, precipitation patterns. So, um, uh, Indian economy is based on, uh, mainly on agriculture, and ag agriculture relies on uh, the water resources availability. In regular condition, uh, we have the sun, oops, sorry, we have the sun uh, which um, uh, heats uh, and warms up the uh, ocean and the land uh, in India, and uh, what happens is that uh, the water um, evaporates and creates the rain, and the rain is homogeneously, um, um, homogeneously uh, redistributed into the, uh, into the land. But it looks like, uh, due to the presence of the aerosols and your cars, uh, the um, uh, radiation coming from the uh, sun is reflected by these particles and it doesn't reach the, uh, the ground. So this means that the ground uh, cools down, uh, the water does not evaporate in that area and all the rain are shifted in the um, uh, northward, in the northern part of India. So uh, what uh, I'm doing with uh, my uh, project is for the first time using real measurements for understanding what's happening there because so far uh, just models were used for that. And by using satellites uh, measurements uh, it will be possible also to link the results uh, to the future uh, development. So there are two risks in this area. Uh, the drought in the southern part of India which means that about 50% of the uh, of the uh, territory would be, um, would be lacking of water resources and floodings in the northern part of India. So, uh, is this truly a risk? The question is still open, and this is what I'm investigating. Thank you.